Great to meet you. And you. And it's so good to see you nice again. Nice to see you again. You wrote this. Um, what inspired you to tell this story? Well, I had a real interest in late night TV. I come from comedy, but from half hour sitcoms, which is a very different world. And I'd grown up idolizing people like Conan O'Brien and David Letterman. And I've always been um, a fan of Emma's since I was seen her in uh, Much Ado About Nothing and had followed her career. I think she is the greatest living actor. And I just thought if I was going to write something on my schedule on the Mindy Project, I'd and I had such little time that I would just write for my favorite. And that is my next question, actually. When you found out that you have Emma, who I agree with is one of the best actors that we have. I mean, you're a, you're. I'm a huge fan of your work. Thanks, Dad. And Thank um, so when you found out that she was attached to the project, were you just like, "Wow, this is happening"? I was. Well, you know, I was relieved more than more than anything because I, to have spent that much time working on something for someone's voice. I mean, you've seen the movie. No one else could play this part. I was really relieved that it wasn't just a huge fucking waste of time. <laughs> as we are, as we are. Do you know what I mean? You can't. We no, I know, I know I've written stuff that hasn't been made. Yeah. And you go, okay, well, it's never a waste because writing is writing is writing. It's always good true, for you, but yeah. it's never a waste. But when it gets made, it's kind of, it's kind of amazing. And this mm -hmm. is, we're lucky, both of our first screenplays have actually been made mm -hmm. into good movies. <laughs> That's a miracle in itself that we've got that to share. I'd forgotten about that, actually. That's that true. just occurred to me. We both wow. started in sketch comedy, did stand up for a little while. You know, so we have, we are connected by far more than... Than, than that. Than yeah. one might think. Right. How different of a role is this than anything you've played? What makes this special for you? Um, I mean, what's so special about it is it's so authentic and funny that it's a woman who's had a very powerful job for 30 years, which is, um, well, has never happened in this world. It's science fiction in that sense. Um, that, you know, I could embody something that made me feel very free and powerful. And, and I think the thing I enjoyed most was being able to be rude to people. <laughs> and there was no consequence, really. Although, of course, there are consequences for a great deal of Catherine's less attractive behaviour. Um, I loved it because she was entirely human, entirely relatable and understandable, um, and uh, in many ways quite admirable, as well as being, you know, a flawed flawed old baggage as well. I related to that most of all. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> um, it's a comedy and it's really funny. <laughs> Thank you. But it also has a pretty good points that come across. Um, that was important for you to tell in the story? You know, those were, uh, it was important to tell a story that was really real about struggles of a person that I obviously can really relate to and to write this role for Emma. And so, when people are seeing themes and things in it, I really appreciate that. But I really just wanted to write a funny movie that was relatable about two ambitious people. Because we're women, I think that that itself feels like a political act when people watch it. And I think it seems unusual. So I'm, I'm happy because people seem to be talking a lot about what the movie's about, which is all you can hope for. But at the time, they just stopped watching it, enjoying it, and laughing. So all of these are kind of afterthoughts. Do you know what I mean? It's uh -huh. not... It's never hit it. That's one of the things I appreciated most about the writing, is that it's so lightly, the satire is so lightly. 